and welcome to this demonstration on managing change using ER Studio Data Architect. To begin, we will connect to the ER Studio repository and check out our model. We will then create a named release. This will give us a save point in case we need to roll back the change at any time. We will make changes to the logical model, migrate those changes to the development physical model, generate our change script for enacting the change on the development database, and use the included SQL utility to enact that change on the development database, and then generate a change report and SQL change file between the development model and the production model for sign-off. After getting approval, we will update the production model with the change. So let's get started. We have a model already checked into the repository, and to get that, we simply need to connect to our repository and check out our diagram. Just click Repository in the main menu and select Login. Enter your login credentials and press OK. Now we can get our diagram from the repository. We select the diagram we wish to alter and press OK. Now we can check out the model by right-clicking on the model name and selecting Check Out Diagram. An optional Check Out Diagram dialog comes up giving us the ability to enter a change record and description if we choose. If our repository is connected to JIRA, we can also select the appropriate task created for this change. Once done, click OK. All the lock icons have been changed to unlock icons, showing us that everything has been checked out successfully, and we can now make our change. We'll create a named release, which is the same as creating a version that we can later roll back to in case the change tests out or the requirements change. Type in the release name and maybe a description and press OK. In the logical model, we will add a title field to the middle of the department table. Now we can push that change to the physical model by right-clicking the, the model and choosing Compare and Merge. We will leave the default of Compare against another model in this DM1 file and click Next. Now we select the model we wish to compare, and in this case it's the mo main model in HRDB Dev. Click Next. Defaults are fine here, so click Next. They're also fine here, so click Next again. Now we will be shown the differences between all of the objects. As you can see, the department table is one of those with changes, and drilling down we can see exactly what is different. And we can then choose which direction we wish to push that change. Click Finish when done. Now our logical and physical HRDB dev models are up to date with the change. Clicking the HRDB dev model, we can see that the new field is represented. Now we can push that change into our HRDB dev database on the server. To do this, we simply right-click the HRDB dev model and again choose Compare and Merge. This time, we will be sure that the radio button aligning with Compare and Merge against the live database is selected. Click Next. We will enter our database connection credentials and click Next. Now we can select the appropriate database and click Next. Defaults are fine here, so click Next. They are also fine here, so click Next again. As before, we will be shown the differences between all of the objects. And as before, the department table is also shown, and drilling down we can see exactly what is different. And we can then choose which direction we wish to push that change. Once that is finished, we have two options to execute the SQL. We can execute it directly from the included SQL utility, or save the file to a file location and run it from our database interface like SQL Management Studio. As this is a development database, I have jurisdiction over it, so I will execute this change directly from the SQL utility. I've previously created a DNS file for connecting, so we only just need to select it. And after checking that the code is good, run the SQL code. Now my logical model, development physical model, and subsequent databases are all aligned. The testing can be performed on this database. If the testing has gone well, we can then compare the development model to the physical model to generate a change report. This can then be shared with the project leaders for oversight and sign off on the proposed change. We will again right click the development model and select Compare and Merge. This time, we will be sure that the radio button next to compare against another model in this DM1 file is selected, and click Next. Now, we select the model we wish to compare, and in this case, it's the main model in HRDB Prod. Click Next. This time, we will click the checkbox to generate SQL for changes merged to target model. And since we don't want the change in the production model yet, we will uncheck the box to update target model when merge is executed. 
click Next. Since we know that we may be doing this again to move the change into the production model, we're going to save the settings to make the second time much faster. Click Use File Based Quick Launch Settings and click Save As. Select the file location and specify a name for the file. When finished, click Save. Click Next. Now we'll be shown the differences between all of the objects. Again, the department table is shown and drilling down we can see exactly what is different. And we can then choose which direction we wish to push that change. Once done, we click the report. Choose the location and name of the report and the report type. I prefer the look of the HTML document, so let's choose that and click OK. Let's take a look at the report. Looks good. Now I can put that out on a share or email it up the chain of command for approval. Getting back to the compare and merge utility, we press next to generate the actual SQL code for enacting the change on the database, which we will also submit for DBA sign off. Once approval has been given, we can then move the change into the production model. This time we will use the quick launch file we created to move things along a bit faster. Click Next. Click Next. Uncheck the Generate SQL for changes since we already created the SQL file for the DBA. Click Next and click Next again. And set all resolutions that were approved to merge into the target. Click Finish. Now, provided the DBA ran the SQL file we submitted, all changes have been migrated from the logical data model through the other model and into their subsequent databases for this version 1.0 release. You should now be comfortable managing changes to your models and subsequent databases using ER Studio. Happy modeling!